It's the middle of the week, it is new events day drop, it's hopefully going to be an exciting day and hopefully you've got the fix to the issue and the bugs that Kabam have had in the last 24 to 48 hours. Hi everybody, welcome to your Wednesday MCN. Kick off the show on a Wednesday with what we said about in a video yesterday, in that a hot fix has gone live. The iOS update should be in by now, he says as he's recording this. Well, just moments before it's meant to go live, so it might not have gone in. For Android users, it will be in in the morning, and uh, hopefully that does indeed resolve a lot of uh, of issues. Because for a lot of players, it is just not it's not been great, especially for those that, of course, play the game uh, on iPad Pros, iPads, whatever. Uh, this has been a really annoying bug, and has limited access to certain bits of game mode, and as well has led to like instant losses. And you know, loss of uh, attack bonuses, battlegrounds losses, arena questing in general. Yeah, not not a great time for the game. So hopefully that's resolved in time for the new Alliance War season, and indeed uh, when you play now. So on to something that's now I, I'd say now public knowledge, but wasn't to begin with. Uh, so you might have uh, noticed or not noticed this. This was apparently was in some kind of like notes somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh, this is something that Misty K found, so shout out to Misty K, link is in the description to Misty K. Uh, please go and follow, and also check out the amazing artwork. I think Misty K does work for Vega as well, so you've probably seen a lot of the... Uh, and we talk about infographics that Misty K does as well on the channel. But did you know that with the Venom reskin and Venom Last Dance entering into cinemas, there was this message right here about um, a... Venom related piece of content that might be going players who log into the seven day seven days total from October 21st to November 15th will be able to receive an in-game reward including champions Venom and anti-venom now I don't know if that necessarily means that you're gonna get something super spicy from it but at least Kabam are trying to do something they really tie into that there's been a lot of rumors as well about anti-venom because it's like a big talk about that and of course carnage is seven start entering into game as well well, will there be special offers? Will there be an opportunity to get a seven star carnage? Will there not be? Will there be something similar to the Champions game last month where we got a free seven star chill? It's really unknown at the moment, but we'll find out a little bit more on October 21st. So that could be quite exciting, especially with a lot of content dropping in October. Sticking with the Champions game games i think it's champion games oh i think that event we mentioned earlier uh, and of course we've got the uh, special calendar which i think has now ended by the way make sure yes make sure to transfer your dedicated medallions uh, those are the ones that uh, are in the traders outpost they look a little bit like, well i can't actually show you i might be able to show you it depends if it breaks or not uh I, but uh, you could, the ones that you can transfer for Mysterium, so the ones that are here, uh, if you've got any extras, like, um, you know, trade them in. But there were players that weren't able to properly claim on their calendar or get access to uh, things that they were meant to get access to. Shout out to the person on Discord that sent this through to me a little while ago. And, uh, and yeah, like, this is something may have been resolved by now, may have not been. So when it comes to, as it says here, while the calendar was intended to run from September 5th to October 4th, we verified an issue where the calendar did not start on the same day. For players, as a result, some players were unable to claim the final rewards before the calendar ended. We can confirm that players who were impacted by this issue and logged into the game on October 3rd, day 29, will be receiving the stuck to the routine selector via the in-game compensation through... Uh, though they are unable to es estimate the time frame for the payout as this was the case uh, we are unable to provide items to players through support tickets for the incident so um, uh, keep lock to that maybe uh, so shout out to the person who sent this through in a nutshell it's compensation for those that missed out on the selector hopefully that may have come through to you now but as the calendar's only been what completed as of October 4th of this situation and it is now uh, October 8th Kaban may have not given that out to you so if you're expecting it it might come soon we're going to quickly have a two-parter on the and ending off the show a two-parter on realm events one on crystal cleanse and one on the uh, battlegrounds realm event because that's got a bit of a revelation I think that'd be quite it's quite important to uh, to talk about so from a crystal cleansing perspective, 
and at the point of recording uh, this video, we are. I know we're, we're ending into the last kind of like stretch of this, and 660 million points does seem like, and the last 15 million points do seem it seem like it's possible to get to that milestone there, milestone 20. It's a lot less than what we thought we were going to hit, which was around about the 750. Um, 9 million mark which of course is a bit of a a bit of a disappointment but i suppose it's one of these it is what it is uh, scenarios of course from brian's perspective he has an option to save us and of course i use it in bunny ears because i don't care what he what he does with it it's completely up to him as we said uh, stories narrative law and something that's important to somebody uh, may not be important to others one man's trash is tra one man's trash is another man's treasure and uh, and all that and of course uh what somebody did said here like i, tr I tried to watch all of that stream but uh it, there must have been something kind of like like i must have skipped over it by mistake uh if indeed he said that uh and of course to say cool kabam at their bluff look if they can play the trick on him look it goes back the other way a rank five six uh rank five signature 200 duck um in uh in kind of um swapsies and even a seven star or something or increased egg to 30 percent chance to get a seven star duck maybe that, would they do that i don't think a man would do that in any kind of way uh, to kind of bring it in the middle and as we said i don't think people care as much uh, about this especially because the rewards aren't super spicy if that point carving out or point milestone grab like grabbing all the milestones situation and objective was uh put towards uh the battlegrounds realm event i think we would have a di different it would, be, it would be a different case of affairs wouldn't it i'm sure people would sacrifice what the rewards were because they're very very spicy although i did like the idea of as a and this is the thing non-spending player which i am a lot, of, a lot of you are having access to an exalted crystal would be a first like i've not had um like access to an exalted crystal i'd like to see how good they are they are the uh premium bit of fun although they are what 80 20 split between i don't know getting a seven star versus getting a six star could like it makes no difference to me being a valiant and i'm sure a lot of players in and around what cavalier top end of cavalier anything lower this could make a difference to others meh, not so much even with the ascension uh tier two ascension would be quite nice but uh, it's what it is as we said it's not the end of the world uh, and as well brian will not be forced to make a decision uh, on that one and uh, and yeah like this is this is you know kabampin will said hopefully fingers crossed that's how folks will take it uh, which is uh, this uh i find there's something cool and amusing the fact that kabam is doing this they kind of have this at all uh, either at the same time i hope people realize the rewards for rewards for him doing this are not worth harassing and bugging him over that's that's a fair point hopefully fingers crossed that's how folks are going to take it that's what we want a fun little clever way to acknowledge community law and make the event a little more exciting but the choice is 100 percent brian grant and i hope folks don't pressure him either way looking forward to seeing what choice he makes uh i'm a part way apart i'm more inclined to go just keep and no, it's not my decision but i'd be like just keep it really and as i said the poetic thing about it is imagine if he and as i said in the previous mcn imagine if he keeps it to the end of the game and then right at the very end when it comes to open them because the game's gonna go uh, of course we hope that's many more many years but imagine if the service gets shut off and right at the very end he makes a decision to go i'm not gonna open them and keep them uh, keep them unopened uh, and then the game ends that would be the ultimate kind of like it's not a Thanos snap but it's kind of like that twist moment like the mcu twist moment that we've all wanted for years but we never got and i'd love that to be the case anyway let's go to the part two so the part two to all of this realm event situation which i'm going to be doing a video on um at the weekend looking into some uh some facts some figures some info and as well maybe kabam are doing this as another tester into realm events I think we all know about the way that things are going. Things aren't going in the, the, the correct way that we'd hope to get a load of rewards from the Realm event. 
Rome event currently sits at the point of recording this video at 177 uh, million points. And of course, we said that we need to be hitting about 55 million points a day in order to be getting ourselves right to the very end uh, mark. This gives us about a logical, uh, I can't remember what we said, it was like 700 and something million mark, which kind of puts us around, around there, between there, between those particular points right there, which, take it or leave it, is going to be a thing. There's still some relatively all right rewards that stack up from that one. And of course, as well pointed out by uh, uh, by Piccolo here, is that you'd get 52,000 trophy tokens, 9,007 star shards, one full tier for alpha, two tier six class catalysts. So that's something. Okay, I think it, we, we've got to use this event as we said. Try and enjoy Battlegrounds for what it is, if you enjoy it or not. Get that Deathless uh, Shiok piece and as well at the same time enjoy it and this as well um yeah, is a relevant point also keep in mind that realm rewards are not progression gated so uncollected calves throne breaker paragons and valiants all have access to above mentioned rewards and that's the other spin of it like i, I haven't told like m like the extent of what she'll get by the end of the um event if we are successful in what we've got and that's pretty big for her account i think she could open another, another seven star uh, which is, you know, incredible. Uh, and also, I think that might be enough. Would it be enough? It might get, it might help out her getting to Thronebreaker quicker, maybe. N actually, no, looking at the rewards, probably not. But at least it will help, you know, and that's the main thing. So there's been a bit of a, like, a, a, t a twist in all this, which I thought was quite cool. If it comes off, if it comes off. So Kabam Crash said, it's actually going pretty well, Okay. There are currently 3,218 players in Gladiator Circuit. The number of number will at least will at least 10 times before the season ends, and it will probably more like 15 times or 20 times given past seasons with deathless pieces. Earn rates should continue to increase as more players enter GC. Based on the participation data, the event is still on track to meet the exceed meet or exceed 1 billion milestone. I will admit that in the future we are going to want to tune the event so community perception matches reality. The fact that the points are backloaded because of the bonus GC points is definitely a sentiment issue. Okay. So there's a lot to unpack with this. According to Kaban, we are on track to get a Titan Crystal. Right there. Now that's great. Of course, from this early standpoint, we don't really know from a week, it was seven days. We don't see it, okay? We don't see that level of, of gain. Because as we said, we need to be earning 55 million a day. If we're earning about 25 million a day, then the the projection, the trajectory, is going to be something of a, a kind of a slow burn to high burn. It's like going to be just a real, yeah, a long burn, essentially. This is, this is going to be a long burn realm event. So I guess that's when it's going to kick in. It's not going to be week one. It's not going to be week two. But week three and week four is what Kabam was saying. Now, I'd love to see it. That's the thing. I I, I want to see it. Because in the early stages, the way you look at it, it's like, mm, it's not really it's not, not really looking great. And of course, need to participation from the community. We'll need to see that. Either way, that could be, take this as either, it's either going to be positive or it's not going to be positive. And as you know, I'd like to see it happen to then go, okay, well, I can see it. And the only way we'll start seeing this is on a daily basis. You'll come into game and you'll go, okay, right, we're going 177 mil today. It goes up by 40 mil. So if I log in tomorrow and I see 210 mil, I'll know that it's going in a positive direction. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I should say like, okay, well, I know in two weeks time, it's going up by 40 million a day. Hey, now's the time to get a bit, um, you know, positive about this. And we've got to think about the two week bump, the way that players only seem to really get, wanted to get involved two weeks into it, which I do as well, because, you know, people have gone to GC. It can leave out the, um, uh, the people like me that are just kind of trying to get up there as, as kind of like efficiently as possible for time investment versus, versus take back. Um, but we'll have to see how things go. Anyway, with a fix, 
in place. I'm sure a lot of people will get involved with the uh, with the grind. That has been the show for today. What are your thoughts on some of the things raised? Really good show, really interesting topics and things and, and information. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the show today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.